So I've got something amazing to show you today, and that's these. They're very, very different. I've never heard of these before. Well, one of my members told me about them, so I thought I'd have a go at them. And that's these ear cuffs. Now I'm going to show you how to make these ear cuffs. I'm also going to show you how to attach everything to them and how quick and easy it is to make. So what we're going to use today is these. So I've put these to one side. I'm going to make four different ones and I'm going to use these moulds. I think the quickest way to do this is by using some UV resin. So I'm going to show you some UV resin techniques that I'm going to try with these. And I think they're going to come out awesome. Now I need to make quite a few butterflies because one of them is going to have butterflies on. And I want them to be this middle size butterfly here. But I've only got one of these moulds unfortunately. So I'm going to have to make lots of them. That's the great thing about using UV resin. So I'm ready to colour my resin now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my low viscosity resin here and pour some of that into here and then I want to add a little bit of sparkle to that so I'm going to be using this ultra fine glitter and that should add some sparkle to that and it will still cure up as you'll see in a minute now I'm going to make quite a few of these so I'm quite happy with the amount that I've mixed up because I can cover this up just put a cover over this when I'm curing the rest up so I'm going to use that for the stars and I also think I'll probably do different butterflies so I'm going to use that for the butterfly as well and the reason I'm using the low viscosity one is because because it will run into all of these areas that I want it to because it's quite thin but also I can dome it up afterwards if I want to add another technique to it which I will show you anyway and I think I'm gonna have a couple of sparkly flowers some green leaves do one large leaf not sure I think this one might be too large for the ear cup but we'll try one and then these little leaves and then these flowers I'm going to make up in two goes. I'm going to cure this bit up first, which is the centre bit. Then I'll finish them off. So I'll pop my big lamp over, cure them up for three minutes, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So those little blue bits are all cured. What I'm going to do now is fill it up with yellow. You don't have to use yellow. You can use any colour you like. But I might do a variety. I might do yellow and red. And now I can finish curing those up for three minutes. So these have cured now and they'll come out and look how pretty they are. Not sure if that's showing up there. I think that might be okay. No, it probably is a little bit too big for that. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make some more of these and then I will show you how to put them together. Well, these have all cured now and I've made them all. And what I want to show you is that you can, if you want to get them a bit more sparkly than this, then that isn't a problem. What I'm going to use is my chameleon powders for this. And I'm probably going to do each one a little bit of a different colour. And all I'm going to do here is brush that onto there like that. If you've got finer brushes, I find the brushes work really well with this. And so do the sponge brushes as well. But look how much more sparkly that has made that. And then using either your clear resin, UV resin, or the stuff that you've already made up, get yourself a micro brush like this. I'm using the stuff that's already got the glitter on, and this is the low viscosity one, so it's fine. It's going to lay fairly flat. And then all I'm going to do is pop some over the top of that chameleon powder so that it can't come off and rub off, but it really does make it look quite pretty. You could do anything like this on top of them. Because you've used this low viscosity UV resin, it is going to lay nice and flat. It is going to cover them really well, lay nice and flat and work lovely. Now what I'm going to do for these stars is I'm going to use the high viscosity one and dome those in exactly the same way by just putting a little bit in the middle like this and letting it find its own way around. And if I need to move it around, then I will use something to put it into the corners, just to give it that little bit more feel. And you could dome this and put the micro glitter in it if you want to. I don't want to because by doing it like this, it will magnify what's already in there. So I'll finish these off, then I'm going to show you how to attach them really easily and permanently to those ear cuffs. So once you're ready to assemble these, which we are now, then the biggest tip I can give you is make sure you know which way round you want your bits to go. So I know that I want that for the right ear, okay? So if I put the bits on there, then that is going to fit for the left ear. So I need it to be that way round so I can measure it up. 
I've got, all you've got to do is put it on your ear and think that's the way they're going to show up. So they need to be stuck on this side. You'll, you'll know exactly what I mean once I'm doing it. And how I'm going to do this is get some high viscosity UV resin. A little bit more of this glitter in there. Give that a slow mix because you don't want to add too many bubbles into this because it is quite a thick resin. Now, if you don't want to put the extra bits in, that's absolutely fine. And then get yourself a little dob of it like that or a blob. Put it where you want to attach. Now, I know I want to attach there. So I've put a little drop on there. And now I can put the ear cuff over that dot like that and then cure that up for about a minute. Once that's cured up for about a minute, then you can add the next one using exactly the same method. And then just carry on adding them like that. So I'm going to finish these off. I'll show you what they all look like finished. What I should have said as well is I'm going to carry on and do these like this. And then once I've got them all attached, I will then give it another blast for a full three minutes once they're all attached. And that will secure them really well. So I'm going to finish off the rest. I'll show you what they look like finished. Well, they're all finished now and all glued on. Can you imagine what fun you could have with these around Christmas times or Halloween or things like that? So they really do look great. I've never heard of them before, but they do look great. And here's what they look like. So you'll have to excuse my messy hair. I'm brushing this morning. All shaved, look. So this is what this one looks like, and that's what that one looks like. And we've got the stars, which is that one. And that's the flowers, and that's the other flowers. And this one I put that big leaf on as a dangly bit underneath. Look. I think that works quite well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. I've really enjoyed making those. They were great fun to make, and I'm sure I'm going to put them out at my next craft fair and see how they go. I've not told one before, but I'll see how they go. Check out the video that's coming up next here. I think you'll really like that. It's another experiment and it was great fun. If you'd like to buy me coffee, then the link for that is in the description below. Along with the links for everything that I've used today, take care, boot that like button, hit that subscribe button, but most of all, enjoy your resin. Bye.